Now we're moving to the second and slightly more complicated stage of the lecture where we look at formal charges. Remember we said sometimes there is resonance and one would need a way to distinguish between the best structure. So let's first do some exercise in formal charges. So formal charges is the charge which an atom is holding within a molecule and it gives an indication of where the more negative portions in the molecule are and where the more positive portions are. Okay, the formula for formal charge is formal charge is the valence electrons given on the periodic table before bonding occurs minus, in brackets, the lone pair electrons plus half the bonding pair electron. So let's try it for phosphorus. On the periodic table... Phosphorus has five valence electrons minus, okay, lone pair electrons. It's got two plus a half into how many bonding pair electrons are shared around it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Five minus five gives you zero. If we were to look at a chlorine, for example, formal charge will be equal to how many valence electrons usually on the periodic table? Seven minus how many lone pair electrons? It's six plus a half into how many bonding electrons? One, two bonding electrons are shared. Seven minus seven is? zero. Because these chlorines are all in the same environment, we can assume the formal charge for each of them is zero. So zero, 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 and zero. What is the overall formal charge on this molecule? It's zero. The sum of the formal charges should add up to the overall charge on the molecule, and that's what we see here. Now let's try a more complex example. If we were to look at the hydrogen formal charge, hydrogen generally has one valence electron minus, does it have any lone pair electrons? No. Does it have any bonding pair electrons? Yes, it does. It's got two bonding pair electrons, which it shares. One minus one gives you a charge of zero. And because all of these hydrogens are in the same environment, we can assume that all four formal charges are the same. But what about the formal charge for nitrogen? Nitrogen, formal charge is usually equal to valence electrons, which is 5, minus lone pair electrons, it doesn't have any, plus half bonding pair electrons. How many bonding electrons are shared around the nitrogen? There are 8 of them. 5 minus 4 gives you a positive 1 formal charge. If we add it up, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 gives us the overall charge on the molecule. Why don't you pause this video for a moment and try it for yourself for the two atoms in the cyanide molecule. Okay, now looking at this polyatomic ion, carbon formal charge is equal to, carbon usually has 4 valence electrons minus how many lone pair electrons? Two plus a half times the bonding electrons. How many bonding electrons do we have here? We actually have six. Okay, so that is equal to four minus five, which gives us an answer of minus one. What about the nitrogen? Nitrogen is usually 5 minus what's in brackets. 2 plus exactly the same thing, a half times 6. Okay? So what do we see here? 5 minus 5 really gives us a formal charge of 0 on the molecule. OK, 
Okay, and if we add the formal charges up, we get the overall charge on the polyatomic ion, excuse me, not molecule. What happens if we were dealing with carbon dioxide? Okay, the carbon dioxide would have an initial structure which looks something like this. Carbon, oxygen with six lone electrons. So if you followed your electron bookkeeping, you'd end up with a structure like this. And you would find that the octet is not satisfied for the central structure. We've only got four electrons around the central atom, where we need eight electrons around the central atom. And we can do that in one of two ways. So we can take an electron pair from each oxygen to give double bonds on either side, or we could take two electron pairs from one oxygen and not touch the other oxygen. How do we decide of these two resonance structures, they definitely aren't equivalent, which is preferred? We do that by looking at the formal charge. And here are the two pointers. The range in the formal charge should be the narrowest, and the most electronegative atom should carry the most negative formal charge. So let's look at the formal charges here. This oxygen is 6 minus your 2 bonding plus half of the electrons here. 6 minus 6 would give you 0. We've got a formal charge of 0 there. This oxygen and that oxygen, oxygen 1 and 2 are in the same environment. We'd expect a formal charge of 0 there. Here for this carbon, carbon usually has 4 minus doesn't have any bonding electrons, plus a half times 8, which gives us 0. 0, 0, 0, adding up to the overall charge of a neutral molecule, which is 0. What's going on here? Carbon again is 0. 4 minus a half times the 8 bonding electrons. What about this oxygen? Oxygen is usually 6. Minus, how many lone pair electrons do we have? Six plus a half times your two bonding electrons. So we actually end up getting a formal charge of negative one for this oxygen. What we find over here, oxygen is usually six minus two lone electrons plus a half into six electrons in total, six bonding electrons, that gives us an answer of plus one here. So if we go back to the rules, we can see the range of formal charge should be the narrowest. Well, from zero to zero is pretty narrow. There's no movement in the range of the formal charges. Whereas here, we're going on the number line from negative one through zero to positive one. So that's quite a large range. So already that discounts this as the preferable resonance structure. The second criteria, the most elect electronegative atom, should actually, it should say, must carry the most negative formal charge. Okay? Here's a negative formal charge between these two. The more negative would be zero. The oxygen should be carrying the more negative of the formal charges available. Being such an electronegative atom, it will is highly unlikely that it will carry a positive formal charge. So please go back to the structures which you've drawn, even structures which you haven't drawn, and get practice on deciding formal charges. Thank you.